Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farz Losi. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to edit an outdoor portrait with an autumn-like color grading, little bit of orange look. Uh, so, let's get started. And I'm using Photoshop 2021 and Camera Raw version 13. So, if you are using a little bit older version, uh, maybe there are some difference in options. But don't worry, all the basics options are same. Uh, in the Camera Raw, maybe you will find uh, some options uh, renamed. They renamed the option like Split Toning is now uh, Color Grading and some more options they have added. But the basic things are same. So don't worry just follow the tutorial okay so first copy the layer by pressing ctrl and z and then convert it to a smart object and now go to the camera or filter option and now come into the basics option and here i want to increase the temperature so i'm giving around 15 and tint i also increase the tint I think 13 looks fine okay press Q to see the before and after and now I want to decrease the exposure a little bit I think minus 0 0.10 looks good okay let's decrease the contrast also just a little uh, minus 40 for contrast and now I want to decrease the highlights so I'm giving minus 8 for highlights and for black I'm giving minus 27 for black and now I want to increase the clarity so I'm giving plus 21 for clarity and plus 7 for vibrance that's fine so it's done the basic thing is done now come to the curves and here let's create a point and bring it to the arm to give a matte look I think yeah this looks good and create another point here so create curves like this that's done now come to the detail option if you want you can add some sharpness I am giving plus 5 for sharpness and plus 5 for noise reduction and plus 5 for colors color noise reduction that's good and I come into the color mixer options come into the hue and here I'm giving minus 6 for reds minus 1 for orange and here minus 15 for yellows and then minus 68 for green that's fine now come into the saturation option I want to increase the saturation of reds here so I'm giving around 40 plus 38 for reds then plus 42 for orange and I want to decrease the yellow look at the difference this was the V4 and look at this I'm giving minus 36 for yellow and then plus 5 for green and then 4 for aquas let's increase the blue little bit just a little plus 7 and purple also so this is for saturation now coming to the luminance and here I want to decrease the yellow look at the difference not too much I'm giving minus 19 for yellows and then minus 25 for green it looks nice and now come into the color grading option in the previous version it was named split toning and now it is color grading let's expand it and you will find like this so it's a lot more like uh, in Premiere Pro or in Lightroom now it is in also in Camera Raw. So there is a three option now. Uh, in previous version split toning has two options shadows and highlights and now it has also the midtones. Uh, so this is all the three options and then there is a separate option shadows, midtones 
and highlights also okay now I want to work with the shadows so click on the shadows and there is three option hue saturation and luminance and in the beneath there is a blending and balance option okay so I have to increase the hue let's see I'm giving I think I think this color 278 for hue and let's see increase the saturation not too much I think 14 looks fine to me and I want to increase the blending option all the way up look at this look at the difference this is 100 for blending option and then I want to go with the highlights okay so let's click on the highlights and I want to increase the highlights sorry increase the hue again okay let's find the best for it I think not I think this color will suit okay increase the saturation here again and plus 18 for saturation and plus 35 for hue and blending option 100 it looks fine it looks a little bit orange and reddish look it's fine so I think it's done okay I want to make this area a little bit darker so I am using a graduated filter and here I'm giving exposure minus 1.70 that's it and select the area it's really easy I think yeah it looks fine okay so see the before and after now oops look at this this was the before and this is after now press ok look at this before and after this was the before and this is after it looks great it looks perfect but let's add some more drama to it okay now I want to add a gradient map so uh, I want to use okay let's use this gradient look at this look at the color code 290A59 and for this one FF7C00 that's it okay now change the blending mode to soft light ah uh, it looks harsh it's too much okay let's decrease the opacity okay I think 15% yeah it's good look at this before and after it's fine but I don't want the effect uh, in the face in the skin so click on the mask pick your brush change it to the color black and paint on the skin okay let's increase the flow look at this before and after this was the before and this is after it's fine okay okay now I want to add I want to go to the color lockup option and from here I want to select the as the amber oh it's too much okay let's soft light it's fine and now decrease the opacity to 10% look at this before and after it's fine huh? yeah okay let's again click on the mask and paint on the skin with the black brush to remove the effect from the skin I think now yeah it looks good it looks perfect let's see the before and after overall this was the before and this is after it's fine okay uh, now I want to add some dolls and burn effect to the face to add some uh, glow okay for this I want to use a curves curves action actually uh, so this one is for uh, darken for burn effect and this one is for dolls effect just a little just simple two curves okay that's fine uh, now click on the mask and paint with a white brush always use flow to 1 to 2 percent I think 2 percent let's use 2 percent zoom in and now paint paint on the highlighted area see the before and after look at this this was the before and this is after the same 
with the barn effect. I think okay let's side the black and white layer and see the v4 and after look at this look at the glow this of the v4 and this is after it looks perfect to me okay, if you want you can spend some time more and you can do better than me because it's always depends on practice look at this this was the v4 and this is after i think yeah it looks okay uh now i want to add some uh sun play to this area and this area okay Let's find it. Go to the file option and plus embedded and open those sun flare. And to add this on this area, yeah, it will be fine to me. And I want to hide the black area. Now tell me uh, what blending mode should I use now to hide this black area? Yes, you're right, it's green. Change it to screen and now look at this. It's beautiful. Uh, I think yeah, it looks fine. Now let's press enter. But look at the edges. It's not blended perfectly. So you can solve this problem very simply. Press Ctrl and L to go to the labels option and click on this icon and drag it to the right. Too much, I think I think let's try 25 27 I think I should increase it a little bit more 44 now look at this it's fine All right let's use 50 okay that's done okay let's see the before and after look at this this was the before and this is after it creates a real drama okay now I want to add a player here also go to the place embedded option again is this one that's fine I want the Sun to this area so right click on this and select flip horizontal now look at this Change the blending mode to screen and now look at this let's increase it a little bit uh, I think I think yeah it looks fine now press ctrl and L again and increase this around I think this looks fine okay let's go with it that's good but i think this is a little bit distracting if you feel this is distracting create a mask and what paint with a black soft brush that's it it's simple pretty simple now it's gone so this was the before and this is after it's, it's really easy and Let's zoom out and see the V4 and after overall. Look at this. This was the V4. And this is after. Look at this. Look at the difference. So the editing is done and I hope you will have this tutorial. If you did, hit the like button, leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe.